What's up guys? I'm back with another one and today we're going to be checking out the Gem Skeleton Design Rea Tibia. Now both of these guys were sent in by Cranes Cutlery so as usual I'm going to put a link to their website and their Instagram down in the description. Definitely go check them out. But if you don't know who Jim Skelton is, he is a fellow YouTuber slash knife designer, of course, and also the owner of Skelton Blade Works. Now, usually when you think of Riot, you picture a folding knife, not really a fixed blade. But 100% you should be because they absolutely killed it on these things. Now, I actually have one other knife by Jim Skelton, the Bark River Occipital, which has been an excellent knife. This one has a completely different style to it. Reverse Tonto Blade made from M390. This one has a belt satin slash stonewash finish, which looks really, really good. Gives it that kind of two-tone effect. This one has a DLC with a light stonewash. My camera absolutely hates it, but man, it looks really, really good. Anyway, great ergos. Knife feels really, really good in the hands. The only thing I didn't like about it is I wish the jimping went a little bit farther up. It's just my thumb placement kind of falls right about here. But if I kind of resituate and work it back here, it feels a little more stabby than it does slicey. But, you know, that might be intentional and it might be just me that's the dumbass. But, you know, all in all, it feels really good in the hands. And you can tell they really thought about weight distribution because, you know, they have the speed holes with the really deep fuller and also the tapered handles. It just kind of balances this knife out. And even though the blade's really long, it really doesn't feel unbalanced in the hands. Definitely a plus in my book. Anyway, now the overall length on this guy is 7.258 inches, the blade 4.125, cutting edge 3.875 with a width of 1.50. Now the thickness 0.16, so it's definitely a stout blade stock. I mean, this thing is an absolute beast, and with that flat grind, it's still going to be a really great slicer. Anyway, the handle length 3.125, width one inch and a thickness at its widest point is 0.57 inches now let's get a weight on these bad boys real quick there we go i'm gonna have to get a new scale asap 4.680 not a bad weight at all weigh this bad boy 4.765 yeah, of course, they're going to vary in weight a little bit, you know, happens in the grinding process, but it's definitely a great weight. Now, these sheaths are absolutely fantastic. It is set up in the cross draw position, right handed. I'm sure a left handed person could wear it as well. I mean, you can situate this thing however you want on your belt. I mean, that's some really nice leather and this thing is definitely built to last. You know, Riot, like I said, goes that extra mile, and it definitely shows in their products. And this 100% is something I would carry every day, and I got to hand it to them. They definitely killed it on the design. Anyway, compared, let's move this guy over here real quick. Compared to the Bradford Guardian 3, you can see it's right around a half inch larger than the Guardian 3. Compared to the Bark River JX6. Hell, it's just a tad bit shorter than the JX6, almost right around the same size. But, you know, the Bark River is a brand that he also has a knife on, the Occipital. Excellent little knife. That little thing is awesome. I wish I had mine on me. Uh, it's somewhere in this house. But, yeah, I should have brought it out for this video. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go check out Crane's Cutlery. Link in the description. Stay safe. See you guys on the next one.